Hello everyone, this is Dr. Hawk. Today I'd like to discuss about the, what is our immune system that everyone we need to know. First of all, immune system we can compare like a defense system for a country. So it works in different layer and different level and different department. Likewise, immune system is not that only one organ or one part of the body works. Several organs, several um, gland together work to protect your body from the disease, from the pathogens, bacteria, virus, fungus, any types of invasion. For instance, WBC, white blood cell. White blood cell work in our body, which is coming from bone marrow, to kill any pathogens, producing toxins, and to save our body. It's also limbering system work, also thymus gland, and spleen in our body uh, works for the immune system. For instance, probiotics. Human body, as you see our human body, human body has one to 10 trillion body cells. If you look at the bacteria, human body have 10 times more bacterial cell than our own body cell. So we are kind of more bacteria than what we are. So that's called bacteria or viruses or, you know, this called probiotic. So throughout, throughout the time with the stress, indigestion, our disease, antibiotic consumption, that depletes our bacterial level. So we need to take probiotic. So probiotic in our body also work as a immune system. So let me tell you how, what are the line of defense layer? What are the layers work in the immune system? First of all, immune system work um, primarily by WBC, white blood cell. Any types of foreign invasion, um, w, white blood cell, WBC, jump in to kill the pathogens for our body and this wbc come from bone marrow so bone marrow or wbc production is the first line of defense for our body number two is tissue macrophages tissue macrophage number three neutrophil invasion number four monocyte invasion so these four layer works in our human body as a line of defenses. So let me tell you how they work. First of all, they kill viruses, bacteria, and pathogens, and fungus. Whatever foreign things come off body, find some immune system, find something unwanted, something threatening, they kill that by producing poison to kill them. Suppose hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide is a, is a toxic, it kills the bacteria. So immune system produces WBC, white blood cell produces hydrogen peroxide to kill the bacteria, to kill the pathogens. Also, WBC produces acid. You know, our human body have a, um, our human body stomach have it natural, in the stomach has a natural acid. Those acid depletes throughout the time because the function of the acid is not only digest helping enzyme to digest the acid also kill the any types of living things coming through our food so it produces acid to detox sterilize our food when we die, we eat and it goes to the stomach it also produces mucus layer because every organ and cell has a mucus layer it's like a bilayer two layers and these layers are made of fat so never go fat free diet because fat is the one producing bilipid layer in the cell and that's you need to protect organ protect cell now you know why fat free diet is dangerous also immune system produces enzyme for the digestion because every food digested by specific enzyme for instance you eating fat Digest, you need lipase to digest the fatty food. You need you eating starch or carb or sugar. You need amylase to digest the food, convert into the 
calorie you eating suppose protein so suppose you eating bean or or this bean protein convert into the amino acid by what by you protease so this enzyme being produced by white blood cell let me talk about the enzyme uh, um, and inflammation inflammation is the one important function done by immune system because whenever any unwanted thing threatening comes to your body you that's threatening for your body immune system jump in to protect our body by inflammating toward the body so inflammation you feel the fever you feel the pain in the body so inflammate alert your body because body goes to the fighting mood with the bacteria and virus or unwanted things suppose coronavirus suppose anything comes in so this inflammation is extremely important because inflammation also makes produce a lot of heat to kill the germ and one of the another function for immune system is called um, phagocyte phagocyte what it does it kills the unnecessary things it eat up it eats up the waste in the body like you eat food, junk food body was not able to digest it so that phagocyte process from the immune system to eat up the garbages unwanted toxicity that being produced and one another important function there are many functions like we can name out one more function is uh, forecasting suppose what is coming up immune system can detect in can detect in advance suppose any threat any virus any foreign any heat anything um, attack and threatening comes up immune system keeps in their memory and jump in to fight and protect our body like our different system of a country protect the country from the foreign threatening so um that's all about i i can talk i can talk many things so this i uh, i'm gonna make another video i'll show in a whiteboard how you can protect your immune system all four line of defense wbc tissue macrophage uh, neutrophil invasion monocyte invasion how you can do that i'll show step by step how can you protect yourself and how can you boost up immune system how can you ma make your immune system bulletproof so stay until there um, if you like my video if you think my knowledge is helpful for you please subscribe my channel and share with others so more people can get benefited and keep the bell button on so if i send next video you can get it notification right away and again share with others so that more people can get more people can get benefited finally is if you have any question please please write to me i'll definitely will answer to you and let me know how you like the video and what kind of video you want me to make for next time i'll be happy to get any suggestion from you thank you very much again this is dr hawk from holistic health clinic thank you very much bye